Today's video is on the Sun Kettle, and these are available now on from Four Patriots Food Supply or Amazon, which is going through Four Patriots. When I got this, this is oh, probably close to a decade old, maybe older. It's been used, as you can tell. A bit of paint and stuff on it. Um, it came from the Sun Kettle Company, and uh, I'm wanting to say Solar Rocket. I can't remember, it's been too long ago. But I thought, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, cool. And I didn't look at the dimensions of this thing. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to get some solar just in case something happened. And solar's coming up, it's usable. It is nowhere close to being where it needs to be for practical purposes in a lot of cases. It's a good fallback for certain things. Like today, it'll work. Today we're sitting at the first part of April in Kansas. So we do have some sun. It wasn't like that earlier. The sun's only been out about a half an hour, which renders these things rather useless. That's the one thing they're trying to, they were trying to push it as a packer kit. Well, this is my, basically my, one of my Oshite bags from Banquest. It's a single, single strap pack, which I like to move around with. But you can see the size of this, that's just unreal. There is no way that that's going to work. Even in a regular pack, that's just eating up too much of your room. It weighs 2.65 pounds, which I'd rather carry that in food and water. Or a light stove or something along that line. And for the size of it, it has this for capacity. 16.9 ounces is about the capacity of it, and it says it'll heat it up in 45 minutes. I'll give you that, it will heat it up in 45 minutes, but it better be July in Kansas, high noon in the sun. It's gotta be hot. Right about now, it'll take it an hour, hour and a half anyway, to heat up this, of which this takes three quarters of this. So you got four ounces basically left over for coffee, tea, whatever you happen to like. Now, I don't know about most people, but when you get up in the morning, the sun's not up, especially if you're hiking. So these things, for that sort of thing, in my mind, are essentially worthless. Now, what I did like about it is if you're going to, for any sort of emergency, like oh even in the winter it'll heat water up warm enough to rehydrate some of this it don't bring it up to boiling it takes it up anywhere between 170 165 and up depending on the sun and how really cold it is out which is good enough for stuff like this and i don't know i wouldn't trust it to purify water you better run some clean water that you filtered and stuff in it and i saw originally when they were talking about this that you could heat food and stuff up in here don't do that just don't do that that's not a good thing now the reason I say don't do that is we'll get into this here this is how you get you fill it it's a cap it does it is vented which it should be because if it'll take it to boiling boiling and it's not vented you're gonna have a bad day the liners glass you can see the vent it'll punch out It'll, and I've actually seen it steam, so it will take it to boiling. But since this is glass, and it, it's fairly narrow, it's two of my fingers width wide. We'll go, it's a little shy of an inch and three quarter wide, and it's that long. So you're looking a bit over a foot in depth. This is my longest spoon that I've got. And I can't reach it. So to get whatever you put in here, if you put a food stuff or soup in here to heat up, like they were saying, you know, oh, this is a great thing, do this, do that. No, don't do that. Because it will take a, lo a long stick on a sponge or a scraper to get it out and you will cuss a lot. 
Now what it does do is it heats up water really nice so you can put it in a food packet, things along that line. But then again, be aware that at best, it takes about 45 minutes to bring it up to a boil. So every 45 minutes at best, and I'm actually thinking it's more from what I've run it, and we'll run it later in the summer, again, it's going to take an hour plus, hour and a half, unless it's really hot out, really sunny, to bring this up to temperature. But for a home unit, for home base like I have, like we're here now, it works good. These doors are held together with magnets. It's got a, this is glass, double layer glass, and it's got a darker layer on the inside, which absorbs the heat that's being reflected in from the sun. You wanna keep these, keep the dust off of these and try not to damage them. These have a little, few little dents that'll affect it a little bit. But overall, especially for backpacking and stuff, uh, I would find it incredibly fragile for what it, you know, first of all you take on it, you're going to break it. I mean, that's just the way it is. It's, it's plastic and glass. The two things that I really don't like in a pack, because Murphy shoves me down all kinds of stuff at times. I'll take a good solid hit, wrong something, and you're out your, you're out your source. So I, I'd make the call of not taking this in a pack at home. Yeah, it's a cool thing, maybe a car kit, especially if you want to mess with your neighbors or your kids, teach them this is a great science experiment for kids and stuff like that. And if you have a small group of people or yourself at home and you're trying to do something, save the power, set it up out back, especially in the summer when you're out, this is a way to get some hot water. Not a great deal of hot water, but it will get some hot water and it will boil it. It just takes it a little bit longer in most cases. It's now 20 till 2. I've got the solar kettle set up full of water. It's an ambient temperature out of 75 degrees. So I'll check it back in about 45 minutes. That's what they say it takes to boil it. I don't really believe it. Never had that experience at this temperature at this time of year before. So we'll see. I'm guessing it'd probably be closer to an hour and a half. Okay, the solar kettle had been sitting out in the sun for two and a half hours. I had it out in the open in the bright sun. I just brought it over here. What we're going to do is hopefully see if it's boiling. The easiest way I know how to do that. I don't have an infrared temperature gauge yet. All the ones on the way. This water's hot. I can feel it a little bit through here. I don't really think it's boiling. We're gonna pour it in there and find out. Okay, this will hold about 16 ounces of water, it says. It's been sitting in the sun two and a half hours. Oh, it's hot, but it's not boiling. If it's hot enough through this plastic, it's making my fingers uncomfortable. Okay, that's hot enough to cook with, I'd say. Judging by the temperature, it's roughly 180 degrees. The boiling in 45 minutes is pretty much a fantasy except under the right conditions. And this being April, early April in Kansas, yeah, that's not it. Okay, now what we have here is a mountain house freeze-dried breakfast skillet. Hash brown scrambled eggs, pork sausage patty, peppers, onions, and the dog likes that. What we're gonna do, three quarters of this bottle goes in, 12 ounces, we better get this mess out. And we're gonna let it sit. Looks like mm, dried egg chunks. That would be roughly what's left to make tea, coffee, whatever you want out of this. That's the other reason I don't particularly carry one of these or advocate carrying one of these in your pack. Look, after all, look at the size of the thing. Come here, Slim. And this, this here is my little buddy, the Italian, little Italian Greyhound. And you can see how big it is compared to him. I mean, he's not a big dog, but still, that's awful big. Now, if you're using this at home, all well and good. But even still, just remember, all it heats up is this amount of water. 
16 ounces at a whack. It took two and a half hours to heat this up to where it's uncomfortable. I can hold on to it, but it's uncomfortable. And that's basically what you have left. Now we're going to leave this sit. As it says, add a cup and a half, which is 12 ounces of boiling water. It wasn't quite boiling. Stir carefully. Close zipper. Don't really have anything to stir it with, so we'll shake it about. It says after four minutes, stir again. But we're going to let this sit a while, then we'll come back at it. But that's the solar kettle. And I don't know, my, my opinion would be probably just to leave it sit unless you really have to have one at your house. The only, the only time it really works really good is when it's real bright, sunny, and hot. Cloudy days, anything like that, you're going to be building a fire. Um, winter, it takes forever. It takes almost all day to heat that up. Haven't done it. So, you know, it's 70 bucks. Yeah, you can do what you want, but solar is okay for some things. Works great for solar cells, things like that to charge, to cook with. Mm, in some applications, maybe yes, but for 12 ounces of water to heat a meal for, well, wouldn't, wouldn't really be a meal for two people if you're hungry and working hard. You know, do that, do it as you will. Because, well, let's see what this is. This is servings per container two 350 calories all right even if you did that three times a day you wouldn't come close to needing what you're needing if you're working very hard so you know you, you can let your green theory starve you to death if you like but i think i'll choose other options